Shi Xian obviously will be a, a big favourite here, but uh, of course she's up against uh, a very experienced player in Ip Wien. And of course we've still got more men's doubles to come with some home hopes with Bowen Mogensen up against the Singaporean pair of Chris Nanta and Tri Chat. First out, uh, followed by Wang Shishian. Well, it's a, a dangerous opponent in some respect, isn't she, Bui Yin? She uh, still thinks she can challenge for medals, and uh, of course, there's always pressure on the likes of uh, Wang, particularly uh, given. You know, the way she's had these ups and downs in her career. Yeah, she's a wonderful character to watch play. One of the few girls who uses the jump smash. So the number two seed here, the number two player in the world. Wang Shishian up against the 27-year-old from Hong Kong who played in her first World Championships back in 2005. You can see ranked 24 in the world. She has been as high as eight, but uh, she's been happy with her training and the way things have been going. Been a pretty good year for Wang Shishian, ranked number two, as you can see. Played a lot of matches this year. Absolutely superb at the All England beat. Ishuei, Wang Yi Han, Sina Naiwell on her way to winning at the All England. Three straight Super Series finals at the Indian Open, beating Li Shuei again. She hasn't won since, though. <laughs> Not that that means she's doing bad form, but uh, she lost in the final of the Asian Badminton Championships. The semi final losses in Australia and Indonesia as we look at Andrea Chiappini, who's our umpire. Uh, former number one, they have met before the previous meeting there, as you can see, straight games. Eighth win out of eight for Wang Shishien. Three of those wins came last year. One of those, of course, as you can see, the China Open. First two meetings they had went to three games. It's been straight sets victories ever since for Wang Shishien. But I just uh, wonder if, uh, if we could put up a, a good fight here. Well, she's always up for a fight. She's a very, as I said, she's a very cool character what's playing. But if you came from the outside and you've never watched them play before and you didn't know anything about badminton, if you saw that 8 0 sign, then you probably. <laughs> you wouldn't be putting your no, money no, on Because that. one thing is that you are a good badminton player, another thing is you've lo you, know, you lost eight in a row. That means that on the third and fourth, you should be thinking, ah, you know, you should have learned something and have come up with pretty much everything against this player you have played against. And we still have four more victories for Wang Xiang. So it, it's, an, it's an uphill uh, battle for her, I think. It yeah, started the year very slowly. She did reach the semis in her, her last tournament in Chinese Taipei. She's been proving since the Uber Cup quarterfinal in Japan as well. And she, she's been back training now six days a week. She, was mixing badminton with a, a part-time job and studying. She worked in a bakery. She's cut that back and she's, she's focused now purely on, you know, obviously these world championships and the Asian games coming up in, in jump. So it'll be interesting to see whether she can step it up here. She's up against a classy opponent, that's for sure. Yeah. Ah! 
And while well, uh, if we even got to the quarterfinals at the Olympics, which was uh, as good as anyone from Hong Kong's ever done at the Olympics before, of course, Wang Shijian wasn't even there, uh, which was rather surprisingly, really. Yeah, but not when you saw the end result. I think China must have seen something when Li Shirei was picked instead. So, and she, she of course, went, the, went on to win the gold. So she beat Yipu Yin on the way. Yeah. A good start for Yip. Yeah, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? You know, obviously there are sponsors involved and. You know, badminton players can, can earn decent money, but, you know, obviously you want to supplement it. It's not like you can retire on that money either. You know, she's no. got this business going on. She's got studies going on. It's hard to then say, OK, I, I'm going to, you know, what's she, 27 now? Let's commit a couple of years <laughs> to playing badminton. And that she's fired up. And, you know, it, 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 you'd think it's normal that you'd be focused purely on the badminton, but... You know, people got to live as well, haven't well, they? Yeah, definitely. And you know, coming from Denmark now, it's it has changed. It has become better. But uh, I pretty much knew when I started playing badminton that you had to have an education and and, and have a life on on the yeah. side because you couldn't live off what you earned in badminton. There, were, there was not that money in it. Now that is changed, and that's good because that just gives us better badminton when players can focus fully on it. Uh, when that's in the set, I don't think it hurts, actually. I think you will have a lot of complete better players by, by educating themselves outside uh, in life and... In well, it makes educate. them more rounded as yeah, individuals, complete, doesn't complete it? Complete individuals, yeah. So, I like the idea One, and I still think three. that's still being worked on it from a Dane's point of view, that we would like the players to get an education on the side, go to school, and, but of course, it has to be a mix. You can't prioritize it as much as badminton. Just long for a mip there. Two, three. The last couple of world championships not really been at her best. Uh, she had to retire with a knee injury, 2011. Second round, she lost to uh, Ratchanok Intanon in uh, round two. Third round, she lost to a Chinese player in 2010. She lost to Wang Lin. Four, two. What a good start from Yip here. Very aggressive and not afraid of really pushing the shuttles and taking the net when, and attacking when, when it's possible. So, but the, the the big task for her here is she has to keep that going. You know that's it's not okay to do in in certain periods of the game. It's, it has to be a, a complete game for her to win this one. But very aggressive. Challenge it. Challenge it. Yeah, she's looking to a coach now. Challenge. Yeah, I, uh, but it's too late. It's too late to challenge. I don't know why she didn't challenge. Let's have a look at it on the replay yeah. here. Yeah, it's a real suspicion that was out, you know. Yeah. I don't know why she didn't challenge. Some players haven't gotten used to it yet. I think one of the problems are that players over the many, many years now have been not brought up. That sounds badly, but it's. When you're in there and you're you're in a fight, you you know you want that extra edge. So you you're used to actually trying to call that line yourself all the time. Instead of right now, you, you can't really call it anymore because you can your opponent can basically just take a challenge. So so she was reacting like the old times there. Um, instead of if she thinks there's something, just get that hand up, take that challenge. Lovely shot this from one. Oh, that's amazing. And she's, you know, from the start that Ye Pass here, it's Wang Zhang is nice and comfortably taking the, the control of this match. Ah. Yeah, 
is a great shot. Great drop shot. Yeah, good quality at the start of this match. Wang, who's got the uh, questioning looks. This call given out. Please welcome the technical officials on court number two. Okay. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> Yeah, she says she feels as uh, passionate about the game now as she did as a teenager. It brilliant. It's hard to maintain that kind of thirst for the game. Now, what's going on here? Yeah, he's telling her to be faster. The one, the one problem for you in that case is she's really speeding up the game in the rallies. And, of course, that's very tiring, especially when you're playing... Uh, Wang, because she's basically getting most of the shots back, so she maybe needs a little bit of a longer breather sometimes. You can see here, she's constantly no, in the attack, but he's still... She... <laughs> she's going to get a sore throat as well, <laughs> isn't she? <laughs> well, she's definitely sending a message that she believes in this, eh? Oh, fault, Seven. because it hit her. Oh. I see, you can see in the look on Wang there, what? She's saying, what? I'm not even close. And she wasn't even. So. Ah. But it's when the shuttle hits the, hits the opponent, then the umpire has to call a fault. Those are great drop shots. That she has it. Oh, fantastic net shot. And that's, you know, that's what she needs to do. She needs to come in there with her great technique, see if she can take the net. Look at that. That is absolutely perfect. Impossible that be, to return. Yeah, and that would be difficult to do the full game, but she needs, you know, she needs to show that she's able to do it. But she's sending a message. She's really, really showing with her attitude there that she believes in this. Nine, seven. Well, some uh, questions here for Wang Shishien, isn't there? Definitely. Just to remind you, eight previous meetings, eight wins for Wang. Last six of them in straight games. Nine. 
Sands White. Shot is over. Ken. Eight. <laughs> oh, oh, and she got the bit of luck. Her efforts well, deserved, really. Deserved, yeah. Oh. She's really, really going for it, but that. It's a hard, hard rally. And uh, what a point for her to win. All very well getting that back, but then staying in the point as well, remaining focused. And there she had to go for it. She, she had no power left. No three point gap here, it's, it's good. Yeah, Pui in, 11 8 to the good. She's really going for that drop shot. Is over. Nine. As soon as she Seven. has the chance, she's using the front court. Wang Jihan has seen the desperate shots that Yip has used in this match that she's really going for. That it kind of indicates for her also that Yip is not willing to really rally. So she knows that the more rallies she can get in there, the, the more the odds will turn in her favor. Basically, she's, she's just trying to keep her away from the net now. She just punches those clears down in the back corner and the lift down there and then Yip has to start from down there. And now you can see the suffering is starting. Oh, that's a great backhand. It's a very, very, very hard rally, this one. Yeah, but the fact that she's able to train now full time, as she's been saying, and yeah. six days a week and it will help her. Definitely, but I just don't still think that. In a game with a lot of rallies, I, don't, I still think Wang Xiang will come out on top. So I don't think it will be in her favor. That's why I really have liked the start that she has shown here. She never really uses the smash one. As we can see, she's she's only going long or really short. 
good defense there. Got a very hard rally again for Yip. She's down that backhand side. <laughs> she almost got that one over. Yeah, and you can see Yip holding her knees there. Yeah, four points in a row for for Wang here. Second time now, so she's got to be careful. <laughs> this shows you what I'm saying, that she's probably feeling the pressure of these rallies that Wang is playing. And we have these ones, and oh, amazing. But the clear down to that round head side all the time. Oh, there oh. Oh. <laughs> Well, you need like that. She needed that. It, I think uh, Wang was trying to claim whether she actually crossed over as she played this. Oh, she has a case. Yeah. How did how did Wang get that one over? That's amazing. But again, if you see, the, it's again, it's that clear, that really heavy punch clear down to that round head side on you, that forces her to do something. You yeah. know, she can't hit it away from there, so she's playing the front court, and 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 Wang is already standing up there, so. It's very hard for her. There again. So she's really, really punished her to that backhand side. Again, that's five shots in a row to her backhand side. That's a little short. Oh, okay. No nid luck this time. Service over. 13, 12. That's a problem for 14, for you. 12. She bait, she really, really don't want to give Wang that gap. She wants to keep it tight all the way up, where she maybe could go for it at the end of the game. So now it's vital that she she will get this next point. Or else I think it's going to be very, very difficult for you to come back in this game. Been tight throughout this opening game. Oh, that's what a fantastic curl. Cool. Spin shot. Service <laughs> over. 15, 13. She worked the point really well, too. It would be very 13. frustrating for Ipwet. 
hip there. see Wang has seen that drop shot now and she just pounces, punches it down that round the head side and then when Yip is a little bit, little bit too close attached to that round the head side she comes in with these drops that's that's good that's really oh good challenge no. yeah challenges come one young challenge gone out I, I definitely don't think it was wide it's not wide it so could be long. It was, yeah, but that's that. That's a good question, actually, because was it called good on the back line? So what if it's out there and good on? <laughs> but it's out, if it's either it's out or it's out or not. Yeah, true. Yeah, it will show in and out. That's gonna be interesting. That's yeah, perfect. You can't make a better shot than that. <laughs> challenge successful. Two challenges. Remaining. So the challenge was good. Ah. Uh, problems 17, continue. 17-13 as you heard the scoreline now. An important little run of three points here from Wang. Has uh, separated herself from her opponent from Hong Kong. Service over. 14-17. You know, we came to the World Championships, uh, obviously 2010-2011. Clean sweep from China, wasn't it? Yeah. Five out of five. Just feels like in the last few years, you know, we've seen the number one seeds go out today from China in the women's doubles. That there is there's a, a few more gunning, isn't yeah, there, for, there is, for them? There's a few more gunning, which is good for badminton, I think. Of course, it, oh! Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes, he's a fantastic character. He never gives up. It's lucky she didn't injure herself there, really. Flinging herself about there, oh. Guillen. I mean, most would just watch it go back into the court, wouldn't they? But she actually not only got a racket to it, she nearly generated the power to get it over. In the women's singles, though, they still seem very dominant, don't they? Yeah, but there's still, there is some, some, some. Some new countries, or new, not new countries, there's some countries there. Thailand has some. And India, obviously. Yeah, India's some. got some, Thailand's got some, yeah, some very good young players coming up. Of course, the last year. Defending world champion, Ratchanok, so. Although she doesn't feel fully at it, does she, Ratchanok? Oh, but let's see when she gets in there. If she's here, if she plays, then we have to see, so then we have to consider her ready, so. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, brilliant. And you have that feeling now that 19, Yip 14. has run out of solutions here. That she's, she's really, really done her best, but it hasn't been enough. And in in my book, if I had to analyze it, once she she should have had that first game here. Um, it's going to be very, very difficult from now on. Yeah. All the long rallies she's losing. She's got to come up with something like this all Seven the time, over. and that's very, very difficult. 15, 19. Game point, 
15. Yeah, five game points for Shishin. Just missed the line. So, good test, you have to say, for uh, Wang here, but she's uh, overcome the obstacle in that first game, at least, from Pui Yin and the number two seed halfway there as far as making the next round is concerned. I can't look at that. That's an amazing shot. What can you, you know, what can you do? Nothing really is no. the answer. Look, look, just She's look fighting at this. so hard, isn't just she? Look at that. She's almost oh, it's a perfect shot. The start that Wang wanted, sucking out the uh, the hopes of if we in hit. Yeah, it's, it's a tough thing for her now with that gap. It's you know she can maybe make a point here and there where she wins it, but it's it's still too long away. So, Four. but I, I still no. think the, I, I like the idea. With I like the plans he came out with. So.
important point in terms of uh, just giving her a little bit of a morale lift boost but uh, five one down one game down already up against a, an opponent who's classy and playing well it's uh, a long road here for if we in another one that was perfectly into the back quarter it's giving her the run around isn't she really yeah, she's, she's pretty much in all areas One. of the game right now. She's in control one. So. And there's nothing more difficult right now for you. She, she of course, had exactly the same feeling. Six. losing point after point then you feel the tiredness more as well don't you the real trying thing for her right now is that that right there that smash that's a lot of energy you have to use it that's in but the most trying thing for her is that she's, she constantly feels that she's, she's a step behind and that there's nothing more trying than that in badminton we just have that feeling, ah, you can't really get in to make that shot you really wanted to. It would be a little bit like when you, when you could say the tiki taka of Barcelona when they were at their best, where the opponent teams were just running around and they never touched the, sh uh, the ball. Uh, it's a little bit the same, very tiring. Of, of course, here she gets to touch the shuttle, but. I hope the Three. viewers get the picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, totally. There's one in control and one chasing. Yeah. Great this guy's shot. Service over. Eight. Three. Have with that one. Nine, three. Yeah, sometimes I, I wonder why does have this tendency. I mean, it's part, you know, it's not like she's putting it on for today's match. It, she does that generally, but is it always that necessary when you're so far ahead? 21, 15, 9, 3. I can understand if it's a tight match and it, it, it's I a think big it's, point. Yeah, I think it's different from person to person, you know. I think it's part of her game. Just telling everybody in the arena that she's made a good shot. And then again, as an opponent, of course, is it, it, it can be really Ten. frustrating to listen to. Yeah, she, does, she, cele <laughs> what, she, she celebrates every point. Watch at the end of this one, even a, yeah. a little fist pump here. It's like it's. But that's the game. It's today. automatic for her. Look, there you go. It used to be yeah. more as the style of the Asian players. Now it's come to the, the whole world. They're using it. So it's. it's even that there hasn't been, let's say there's a serve into the net and there will be shouting and 
At least we haven't got what tennis has got, which is the uh, the grunting at every shot. Every shot, but it's 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 between if after every rally, you know. So and some can some can think that's too much. Daft uh, just think it's part of the game now. And but I I I definitely have been from a little bit of older than these players playing now. Maybe way older than these players now. It it, it would. I don't know how to put them. Probably make me quite aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> it would wind you up, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It would probably cause the yellow card or something like that. So, so, but it's that's the style there is today, and I just think the most important thing is the challenges we got at the Hall Cry, uh, where, well, you would have seen players try and shout if it was. It was out. They would try to shout it in, and Five. now that's been taken away. Yeah. Uh, and I, I really love that. It's a good development Babington has done there. Well, Wang Shijian has uh, overcome a, a very good opponent here, and she's kind of in cruise control, really. 21 15, 11 5 it is at the interval. Just in the quarterfinals of the World Championships last year, one losing in straight games to uh, PV Sindhu. Of oh. course, she was number one in the world in 2011. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, looking good for Wang Shishien. Looking good for her uh, reported boyfriend on the court next door as well, Chen Long. 17-9 up early stages against uh, Max Wiebler of Germany. Yeah, both would be happy tonight. Sixteen, six. Wasn't expecting that. Service over. Seven. Six. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter given the scoreline, but you wouldn't know it from her reaction, would you? <sighs> no. Just there, but seventeen seven. It's fine. Seventeen. We're able to put a few more points on the board here if we in, but uh, I'm afraid it's a lost cause for her. It's going to be nine matches now against Wang Shishen and uh, nine painful defeats. <sighs> she won't want to play her again anytime soon, will she? Tenth anniversary soon. <laughs> yeah, but you can see why it's difficult for you, but you know, I. I Wang Jian is just not the, the opponent she likes to play against, you know. She can pretty much get all the good shots back that Yip comes up with. Even though I think Yip has done really, really well here, she, she, she just have a difficulty playing against Wang. So it wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me if it would happen again. And then maybe Yip needs to go home and say, if I'm to beat it, oh, that's fantastic. And beat Wang, what, what do I need to improve? And, and in, that, in that department, I think she needs to improve the, okay. what can you say, the basic of the game okay. uh, and be able to say, okay, if you, if, you, if you start clearing like this, I'm just gonna start clearing back and I can follow you all the way. Uh, because if Wang knows eight. that One. she can always just get out of it by this punch clear to the around the head side, then she, she's pretty comfortable. That's a great backhand. It's definitely not giving up. No, she's won the last four points if we in. Well, that's some her own medicine. So it's over. 18, 11.
That's fantastic, Wade. So, did you Sometimes you didn't get it. So I deserve that. Nine, ten, twelve. One. Still a pretty comfortable score, and we're still up to around we're around these 47 minutes. It's just shows you that if Yip is to have a chance of beating Wang, she she has to be she has to work on her stamina. been a, a feature of the match isn't it if we in his it, it wasn't going to go down without a fight she's every point she's won she's worked so hard for deserves all the credit as you say you know she's nearly 50 minutes on court now with the world number two yeah but had she showed this believing you know now it feels like she can run for days <laughs> so maybe it's a men mentality thing you know He's playing really, really well now, and, and Wang seems to be having problems finding the, the solutions. Okay. Challenge. Yeah. Ah, I can't call that one. It, it, it for I my eyes, and if out. I played, I would say out. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I, I would say out. Just if it is uh, out, then uh, there'll be match points for Wang. But it could make it real interesting if. Challenge was unsafe, so unsafe. So. There we go. That's in. It's in, yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> challenge oh. Two challenges. Uh, you know it was close when you have to go in for the double so close up. <laughs> so match point it is for Wang Xian. Oh, that's unlucky. Fruity Trang awaits in the last 16. She had a walk over against Eriko Hirose today. Uh -huh. Not over yet. So I really think she's been playing a great game here yep, uh, in the comeback. And you can't help wondering why didn't she show this kind of, uh, you know, game 
from the start. She doesn't look tired at all. Let's go wide. It's not. I want to say that she doesn't sometimes. look tired at all. <laughs> no, she looks like she's comfortable. She doesn't want to change the shuttle. She's, you know, where was this ship from the start? It could be too late. But it does look. I mean, it's still three match points. Yeah, but Wang has really, really found it difficult to score the points right now. And that's why. There's another one that's wide. Hello. 18, 20. Hello, wow. 1820 it is. And how small was it from being. Uh, 19 points all, so tight, wasn't it, that challenge? <laughs> Oi. <laughs> oh, uh, come on, get that she's got it back come again. On, come on, come on. Yeah. Unbelievable. unbelievable. What a point. What a point. Well, what a way to what end the match. fantastic rally. And I think that sums up yeah. what we've seen from Ipui in here. I think the crowd applauding her as much as they are Wang Xian here because... Big time. She made a real fight of this. That has to be the Best best rally of the tournament so far. Certainly the best one to end the match. Yeah. 21-18. Still have to go back to our men's doubles Earth, earlier that maybe just top that. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the cool one, of course. But look at how many she gets. And that's really good shots by Wang. This one, then this one out of balance, gets it back. Under pressure again. Yes, fantastic. And this one. <laughs> <laughs> she was on the floor every couple yeah. of seconds, wasn't she? And then maybe just mentally... But this one, she, that, that's actually when she's in the most balanced in the rally and she makes the mistake. So. Trying to play a winner. Yeah. It was read as well by Wang, too. Still, um, it's uh, Wang Jian who's through to the third round, the uh, last 16 in the women's singles. But uh, an excellent match that, uh, well, she was always in command of, but was made to work, as this final point showed. Score like 21, 15, 21, 18. That's confirmation of that score like.
So there we go. It's uh, the seeds who have made it through in the uh, three matches we've just seen. Wonder if that uh, will still be the way in our fourth match uh, in here between uh, myself, Richard Kaufman, and Jim Nagelsen as uh, we welcome into the arena the pair from Singapore, Chai Chai Chad and Danny Krishnanta. Pastor Mogerson and Matthias Boat. Obviously, big favourites in this match and big favourites amongst the supporters here. Obviously, we saw them yesterday. Uh